and welcome back to another episode of Evan's Silly Cars that may or may not run by the end of the video. They probably won't. I am going to be working on the Miata today and I'm super excited. First thing I want to show you is some goodies. Ordered some, some uh, destroyer die arms from Drift HQ. Only because they allow you to get more negative camber from the bottom of the wheel, give you more track width in the front. Super cool. Not an angle kit or anything. I'm just keeping this car insanely simple. As you can see, I have fully, fully ruined this paint on this car. <laughs> I'm committed to what I'm going to be doing. So I'm gonna be repainting the entire car, but I'm gonna be also, like this video says, making my own custom, I'm gonna call it a wide body because anything that's wider than stock body is a wider body, so it's a wide body, whatever. I think what I'm doing here is really cool and it's very unique. So all this started about a month ago. I decided I wanted to fit a bigger tire with zero degrees of negative camber in the rear of the car. And you can't do that very well with the stock Miata fenders. So as you can see here, I just kind of got to cutting. Miatas have this really weird thing. It's like a double fender. It's, 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 a, it's a dumb thing. I cut the, the other piece of fender out, as you can kind of see me cutting here and you'll see me pull it apart here in a second. I cut that piece out and then essentially hammered it out and flared the fenders so that I could retain the factory metal look, feel, everything rather than do a bolt on fiberglass. Cause I just, I think that's, it's not tacky or anything. I just, I think it's cool keeping metal stuff, metal sick. You can see here where I cut it out and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So I seam sealed it by the way. Don't think I actually got video of that, but I did seam seal it. So that is uh, all good. It's stacked together. It's all good. So we've got a cool flare as you can see, but it's very wavy. So took a ball peen hammer and started very lightly tapping it and sort of shaping it the best that I could. And this is also where <laughs> I decided it was time and then we'll talk about this a little bit later in the video, but this is time to get the, get the wrap off. The wrap's just old, it's bad, and uh, it was already coming off anyways. The body is wavy, and so the way to sort of, you know, go against that is use either Bondo or this material. This stuff is called Panel Bond. Love using this stuff as a base. It's super nice. And now that the rear was, you know, getting there, this is kind of where the autism started. Because since the rear was wide, I then needed to widen the fronts. And so I had E46 325i front fenders that I chopped up lying around. And I remember after I chopped them off, I was like, you know what? These arches are nice. I could bolt this onto something and use a metal wide body. So the idea here is using a metal wide body or metal wider body, retaining that instead of fiberglass. So all I did was do some measurements, cut, shape, and uh, make it form a little bit better to the Miata's body. What's cool is I actually measured exactly where the arches go. So the arches are the exact same, just wider. And if I had to guess, it, I didn't really measure it. It's probably about 25 to 30 millimeters wider than, than OE. And uh, you know, it's cool. I just used a bunch of random tools around my shop to do all this. Hey, keep in mind, this car was wrecked. These are Chinese fenders. Cut the old fenders out because that's the entire point and then also shortened the side skirts because binding will happen a lot with a lower offset wheel, um, even if you're at a little bit more angle. So I'm going to fiberglass and bodywork this to make it look better. Now here's some more footage of me just cutting and slaving away. I use a mix between air tools, a little bit of sawzall and just a lot of patience. But there's the shortened side skirt in the meantime to kind of show you. And then uh, I may look like I know what I'm doing here, by the way. <laughs> I definitely don't. Newsflash. At some point during all this, I decided it's time to take the wrap off. There's no use in keeping it anymore. I mean, if you look at the wrap, it's it's really bad. I mean, Jaren did drive this car a lot whenever she was here, so it got used and abused. You can see that it's cracking at the exhaust, which is really odd, but yeah, the wrap is honestly not as good as most people think. But anyways, enough about the wrap. Let's move on to the cool part. In order to make this as stealthy as possible, I had to use countersunk rivets. And I don't know why I don't have any actual footage of me putting it on there, but whatever. I shaved it down so you can't see the hardware at all. And this is the key to making it look clean. And I'll tell you a lot about this stuff, I'm sure, throughout the video process. But this is called 3M Panel Bond, and I love it. And this stuff's really cool because OEs actually recommend this, kind of like JV Weld, but for body working. I do want to say this too, just to clarify, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this with the fenders instead of just pulling is these Miata fenders, they're very, very like flexible. And you'll see a lot of these like stance cars that have their fronts pulled as far as, as they can be. You'll see a bunch of like inward dents uh, all along here. 
And that's just the fender's metal capacity being fully stretched and it's doing all it can. So um, while do like with this, I have them riveted together and this is a naturally wider arch and it is made to be like that. And I also, the, the wheel arch as well matches exactly what the Miata's was. Um, it's a little bit different. You can see right there because I actually had to pull it out to, to mate with it and I'll body work that, so no worries. I wanted it to not be like a crazy wide body, but I also wanted to prevent it having those really ugly little inward indentions right uh, all across. In fact, they started doing that. I, I did actually pull the fenders out and I actually had to unpull them, if you will. I had to re-dent the fender back. So that's one of the big reasons I'm, I'm going about this. And so I'll continue body working and making videos on this. I'm super excited about it. Definitely not keeping these wheels and tires though. <laughs> Looking back, there's a ton of work that went into this. This is only the first bit of a long process of making this super smooth. This was a little bit of body work. That's the rear fender. You can see that I'm currently in process of making it as smooth as possible. So you can't tell that I have E46 fenders on it. There was a lot to swallow all that happened this video. So I want to do a quick 30 second recap of everything that you've seen from the beginning to the car being sanded right now. Well, I forgot to make an outro for this video. We've currently got a busy day. I've got a little video series that I'm also really excited to show you. Once this little bit of the Miata is done, the IS300 is coming back. But I've got uh, my friend from the spray source doing some really cool stuff. I'm excited about the Miata stuff because, you know, I have always, for a long time, you know, a lot of my content has been based around doing things, uh, not the cheap way, but the way that works in a lesser expensive way you know because i know a lot of us like myself like we're on a budget not everybody has unlimited uh budget and a crazy team to get things done in a crazy manner so you know it's important to learn how to do things yourself and be uh, resourceful and so i guess those, that's what i want to encourage you to try and do today is as much as you can maybe for business i'll say for business learn to stop relying on so many people because uh you know learning to be resourceful it might it might not excite you much till i have to learn how to do a lot of these things but i'm telling you once i started learning how to do a lot and relying or less on relying less on people it really kind of changed my life and my perspective on a lot of things too I and mean, honestly that's why a lot of my you know my channel hit a really rough spot because uh, I was scaling my business to, to really just have other people, I was delegating. But really, I think in reality, my, my job wasn't to do that. It was to learn what they were doing. And uh, you know, it kind of put me in a weird spot because I wasn't eager to learn what they were doing, how to do things myself. But you know, it's kind of been my whole background is doing things either in an inexpensive way and making it work or just learning to do it and having fun along the way. So I encourage you guys to do that today. I'm really excited about the Miata series. I think you guys will think it's pretty cool. I'm learning a lot from Tommy and uh, he's gonna teach you guys a lot through me with this video series. So a couple paint projects coming up, a lot of good bodywork stuff and uh, really clean, really clean stuff. And I have a custom color that I'm gonna be showing you guys. Have an amazing day and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like the video, do me a favor, do me a flavor and turn the bell on. Turn on the notifications, it helps out a ton. So I'll see you guys soon. Love you all. Peace.